Hi, Starlia here, and today I'm going to be playing Mary's Hair. Now, I saw this on Itch.io, again. <laughs> Most of the games I see on Itch.io, but anyway. I think this is an interactive story, so just to mix things up a little bit, I'm just going to be checking this out and see what this is about. And it's just a little short game, so let's just check it out. The rabbit still breathes barely. The rope holding the snare is weak. It could shoot through it if it tried, if it wasn't so afraid. And then the rabbit's down there, okay? Instead, it writhes and screams and skirm, squirms. Mary leans over it, and the sight so pitiful, it breaks her heart. She wants to let it go. So do I, am I able to make choices in this game or am I just going along with the story? Am I here just for the ride? It's so frightened. It's been days, weeks since they have meat and the crops has been rather different. It fights but still it's getting weak and weaker. She wanted to start a family for so long. How can she, when she walks away, it's her or the hair, the hair or a baby. That's no choice at all. So, I'm so the food is getting scarce, and I have to choose either to eat the rabbit. Or, what was that snap? Did I just snap the rabbit's neck? They enjoy the evening silence, full on rabbit stew, <laughs> content for the first time that they can remember. I thought this was going to be an enjoyable experience where I'm just going to be spending time with the rabbit or something. I would like the rabbit as a pet, but apparently no. As they bask in a glow of the fireside, Mary looks at her husband, the light dancing across his eyes. It's the first time he's looked at her like that in so long. Nausea yanks her out of her sleep, but she tries to wait it out. The mornings are getting colder and she loathes to get out of bed, but no luck. The sickness gnaws at her until she stumbles out of bed. She doesn't make it far. I just, she just throw up right there on the floor. She just let it all out. The stew. It must have been the stew that made her sick. The meat is so, was so tender and rich. Was Did the freaking rabbit have a disease in him or something? But it can't be. Wasn't that days ago? Or did she get pregnant and forget about, you know? <laughs> Mary crawls back to bed and her head spinning and stays there. She sweats and aches and her bed, be belly swells. I almost said Betty. A cause for celebration, isn't it? But she lies there, and the fever dreams haunt her until she screams, shake her from sleep over and over and over. The pain is so strong, she doesn't know if she'll make it. She calls for her husband, but there is no answer. She screams until her throat is hoarse, and still there's no answer. Did the stew kill him or something? Somehow painting, she drags herself out of bed. Her legs wobble. She fights to keep her knees from giving out as she makes her way across the room. A sharp pain sears through her. The doctor, call the doctor. It's either I had a miscarriage or I'm dying. Which is either one of those two. The doctor is apologizing. His hands covered in blood and gore. It was too late. There was nothing that could be done to have saved it. She should be glad to have survived. So she had a miscarriage. His bloody hands cradle something small. What was to be her baby? His eyes are sad at first, but he takes a closer look. But don't tell me that it's going to turn out to be a demon or something. <gasps> The doctor's like, I'm out of there. <laughs> I don't want no part of the, whatever y'all doing up in there. The doctor runs out without another word. His bloody hands clapped over his throat to keep himself from being sick. Mary, 
Mary barely notices and closes her eyes. Where is what? Was your ha your husband half rodent? When she wakes, there is a faint pink stain on the floor, and the sheets under her feel stiff and smell of something acrid uh, and and foul. She sleeps deeply at long last, but not for long. Okay, that was just a dream. I was about to say <laughs> the dream. The screens cut through her dreams again, and bile rises in her when she wakes. And so soon again, her belly grows. But how? This time, the midwife is called, and she isn't afraid. The midwife stays with her. More doctors are called to observe the curiosity as she delivers bundle after bloody bundle. A marvel, a freak! They examine her her stillborn children, some with wonder in their eyes and others with a shudder crossing themselves as though somehow her stillborn babes could hurt them. The guy's holding up a cross like, mm -mm, I am not dealing with no demons today. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm not uh, get those demons away from me. Wait, so are they all like rodent-esque looking babies? Eventually the blood stops. She hasn't taken a meal in weeks, but the taste of rabbit stew still rises in the back of her tongue, mixing with the acrid bile that always hovers there. The doctors have gone away, though the midwife still comes in to check on her. Her husband, she can barely remember his face. When was the last time she saw him? Your husband might have turned into a rabbit. I don't know what's going on up in his house. The days go by and her breathing shallows and her tongue tastes of sand. She shrivels up everywhere. Her skin stretches so thin it hurts. Everywhere except her stomach, of course. And possibly her belly stays round and sagable as though it's sucking out the fat, the blood, the life from the rest of her. You are giving birth to demons, my girl. But there are no more babies coming. She doesn't have the strength. She fights for her last breath, remembering the rabbit in the snare, eyes wild, tugging as it choked, screaming and gasping. She thinks she must look, look the same now. Were there anyone to watch? If only she knew. Oh my god! And, she, and rabbits are just popping out of her stomach. Oh nah. That was a, that, that was definitely a demon rabbit that she ate. And it killed her husband. That's what happened. And Okay. That was it. A weird story. Okay. What is this? Wicked little tongue. Oh, and they got more interactive fiction. Let's see if we could do another one. Okay, there's two. Let's do another one. Run game. Okay, start. A procession of heavy creaks on the stairs accompany the arrival of a new tenant. It's not long before the new neighbors come knocking. Hello. Hi. You look nice. I'm so sorry to be a bother, but I was hoping to lean on the old tradition of borrowing a cup of sugar for a, from a new neighbor. Nah, nope. Once they start bother, borrowing a cup of sugar, they're going to keep coming for more cups of sugar, and then they start bother, borrowing your supplies and never returning. I'm telling you, do it once, but never do it twice. Silly on me. Okay, this one I actually get choices. I ran short. I ran short right in the middle of whipping up some biscuits for the mistress. Of course, I'll get it for you. Come right in and grab whatever you need. Mm-mm. Don't let her in your house. Nope. 
I wouldn't want to intrude. See, I don't like that smile. I'll just wait right here. I don't like that smile she's giving me. That smile's telling me she's something devious. Good evening. Oh, crap. I wanted to thank you for the sugar the other day. Didn't I tell you she's gonna keep coming? Watch. She's gonna ask for more sugar. I don't mean to be nosy, but it seems you're on your own. She's confirming whether I live alone so she could kill me or something. She want to make sure nobody's going to check up on me. I'm telling you. I was wondering if I could spruce up the place for you to repay you for helping me out of a pinch. See, she's trying so desperately to come in my house. No, I could clean my own house. Thank you very much. I appreciate the offer, but I like things the way they are. Well, you just be sure to let me know if there's anything I could do to return the favor. All right. She's gonna come again. Yo, this name is annoying. Oh. Oh. I hope I didn't disturb you. I just lost my footing for a moment there. Why your face look like that? Look like you haven't eaten for days. I've been feeling a bit faint lately. These stairs must be getting the better of my old bones. It's just gonna be a, like a twist. Like I didn't let her in my house, so she's gonna die. Please come in and rest for a while. Oh, she's pretending to be sick so I can let her in. <laughs> let me help you up the stairs. I wouldn't want you to fall. <laughs> yeah, let me help you get up those stairs. I told you she was trying to kill me. Ending D. Bloody stairs. I knew she was trying to body me. Okay. So I thought I just had to keep her from coming in. I had to keep from keep from coming out too. So let's try to do that. I'm gonna do all the same choices, but this time I'm gonna not go out. All right. It's all gonna be the same dialogue. Good evening. All right. I appreciate the offer, but I, yep. Oh, was I too mean to her and she killed me? Now, nah, I think she won my life, period. Please come in and rest for a while. Let me. Yep. You're really too kind. I won't be long, just need a moment's rest. All right, let's see what happens now. She's in my house. I, I still think she's gonna kill me. What the heck? Is this her? I'm, oh, I'm about to say. She came all decked out on black or something. Did she die? Lady Redgrave, I didn't, not believe that we have had the pleasure of meeting face to face. Normally I would not have come down to bother you at such a late hour, but my servant has been missing since yesterday. She's a vampire. <laughs> Did she lead me up those stairs so she could kill me? She led me up those stairs so... Mm. She mentioned that she had come by your flat a few times. Have you seen her? It's been a few days since I, la I saw her last. I hope nothing has happened. Why don't you come in for it? Mm -mm. Really? Perhaps a refreshment would drop my memory. I have no choice. What? It did no animation for that? It's safe to assume she 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 drunk my blood. All right. What happens if I let her in my house? Come in, grab whatever you need. Bless you. I'll just pop it right in. Be out of your way before you know it.
Good evening. Okay, it seems like it's going down the same path. Yeah, I'm on my own. Yeah, I can use a good dusting. All right. Let's see what happens now. And she comes here all sick, sickified. I'm gonna let her rest in here. You're really too kind, cause I did not understand. It. <laughs> I know she drunk my blood, but I'm just like, there's no animation for that. Like, there's no option to not open the door. Good evening. Yes, I know who you are. I have no choice but to choose that. Is so she like hip hypnotized me to say this? Okay. There's obviously other endings. But how do I get them? Because. Okay, maybe. I come right in and grab whatever you need. All right, and then we're gonna go towards the bloody stairs. And if I get that in it again, I'm ending this. Maybe I. There's nothing else to. All right, so I appreciate the offer, but okay, that. Cause I'm thinking maybe. If I let her keep coming in, and then I get out, I come out my house. She won't sacrifice me to her lady. Nope, I'm dead. Well, if you want to play that game, it's both games gonna be in the description, and I'm just gonna end it here because I'm not gonna look for. Her all the other ones because I'll keep getting a B and D. I don't know if it's like something wrong with my thing. Something wrong with my game or those are just the default endings in there. But anyway, I'll see ya. Bye.